So you want to stream on TikTok at the same time as Twitch. A little bit greedy, but that's fine. I'll show you how to do it. Jumping straight in, there's three things you're going to need before you start. So I'm going to put the links to all of these in the top of the description. Uh, essentially, one is OBS Studio. So if you haven't already got it, which I'm sure a lot of you do, that is this. Second one is you need Item Vertical, which I'll also pop down there. That is basically a plugin for OBS that allows you to stream vertically to TikTok whilst you're also streaming landscape uh, in the Twitch side of things. And then the last thing you're going to need is TikTok Live Studio, because of course you're going live on TikTok you're going to need that as well once you've got all of those downloaded launch OBS and if you've used it before you'll know that these five things here to from controls and to the left you'll be familiar with that's what you use to stream with your sources your scenes etc and the vertical plugin you'll notice has added these here which is exactly the same but for the vertical side of things let me just delete these a sec though and I'll quickly talk you through how to arrange your TikTok stream if you've never really done that before on the vertical side of things so now I've deleted my completely this should be what you're seeing when you launch it after installing the vertical plugin so the first thing you're going to want to do is click a plus icon here on vertical scenes which is exactly the same thing that you would normally do over here for your twitch stream then just name it something memorable i'll call it tiktok for ease of use and then you've got your scene set up that's done and then the next thing you want to do is your camera and then your gameplay presumably if you're doing gaming content so to do that you press the plus icon in the next column which is your sources not your scenes don't do it in there again because it will be wrong add your video capture device for instance mine is my webcam it should be exactly the same here as it is over on the twitch side of things as well for you then you want to sort of stretch this out to size um however you prefer it it can go bottom top middle whatever you like really depends on the content you're doing and then if you are doing gameplay content i would say do like a display capture or window capture that's what i tend to go for so if you go window cap you can then basically pick um, an exact window here so for example my chrome has got the plugin open right now and then you can stretch it around here i would say make it central particularly if you're doing gameplay make it central if this is below it like that you can just drag it and rearrange it here kind of like layers in photoshop for example and then yeah center it as much as you can with as much of an angle on it as possible that way if you're playing you know fps's or any games like that or most games are central anyway but it just makes sure that like your player or the thing that you're doing in the game is central of the screen because obviously Obviously, there's a reduced field of view over in TikTok stuff. And once you've done that, you are effectively done on OBS. That's all you've got to set up. You're basically done. The alerts and stuff will be separate in TikTok Studio. But let's go over to TikTok Studio and I'll show you how to do that now. Lovely. So when you launch this up, let me just move my camera down. You should have, if you look over on the left side here, you'll have maybe a template will pop up. When I downloaded it, it gave me kind of a template. Just delete all of that. So let's get rid of everything here, essentially. Delete anything that pops up. And then all you're going to want to do is get back to this screen here where it's black and you've got all of the options. Once you've done that, open up the camera option here in the list and then the camera from the drop down that you'll want is the OBS virtual camera because then when you select it and add the source bam you've got this stretch it out to size and you might be thinking no no this is all stretched up and it's ruined and I've done it wrong no you're fine you're completely fine go back to OBS to press one little secret extra button so let me, I've moved my camera again. Let me drag OBS back across. So the button you're going to need is this little kind of orange icon with a little video camera. Click that and I'll show you what happens. One click, drag this over the, out of the way. And as you can see, now on the TikTok live side of things, you sort it. It's done. Now you're ready to go live, essentially. You can add other sources here. So if you wanted to do your alerts as well and have pop-ups for followers over there, you can quite literally set them up here. They have them all built in. So you can click alert. And there's not as much customizable options as Twitch. But you can kind of do a few things. You might have heard that noise very loudly for like followers uh, and pop it there. And it will kind of show you similarly to Streamlabs, it will show you it um, over on Twitch. Obviously, you'll have to log in with your TikTok when you first open the software, but I'm sure you've probably figured that out straight away because it makes you log in before you can do anything else. There's a bunch more options and sources too. You can add different captures and stuff like that. You can do casting from your phone. You can set goals, viewer rankings. There's a bunch of extra stuff on TikTok side of things. In terms of going live, you're going to need to do both. So when you do go live for the first time, Gonna have to click start streaming in obs that'll do your twitch and you're also going to have to click the go live button down here and that will send your tiktok live for you it's also worth noting that you will have two separate chats you'll have your chat for twitch and then the tiktok one will be here uh, as well as all your views gifters followers etc popping up basically you're going to have to keep an eye on more than one thing but you could always split screen it or maybe combine it into one chat if you know how to do that now another thing you might be thinking is hey cal i use Streamlabs. i don't use obs that's fine there's other ways to do it there too so let me just uh get the dashboard open for you move myself up of the way again so essentially down here you should have a little notification bell in streamlabs obs uh most recently one of the things they've been doing is 
this application for streaming access. So I believe before you can actually stream on Streamlabs via TikTok, if you want to multi-stream, you will have to apply. Don't know how difficult that is. Don't know how long it's going to take. Seems to be a fairly recent thing. I've only been getting this for the past few weeks. However, once you do get that access, I'll show you where you can go live and how to do that via Streamlabs. So what you want to do is click settings on the bottom left down there, and then you open up this big menu. What you then want to do is go down to stream uh, and it will show you everything that you've connected and had logged in. That will essentially be what you want to do if you want to multi-stream from Streamlabs. TikTok, presumably once you've applied for access and been accepted, will appear in this list, meaning you can then, when you click go live, choose which ones you're going live from. Basically, multi-streaming is becoming a way more popular and way more accepted thing now. Um, so you'll probably likely see a lot of integration for Streamlabs as well as OBS. But I personally think the OBS route, a little bit easier, a little bit quicker. You don't have to apply for access. You can just set it up in a couple of clicks, as you've seen. If you do have any questions or if anything didn't work for you, please get back to me in the comments. I'm more than happy to help out. I'll be there trying to reply as many as I possibly can forever. And have fun as well. Good luck with your streaming. TikTok has millions of people scrolling through all day long and the amount of people that will pop into your stream that might not have ever seen you before, it's great. So good luck and yeah, take care. Subscribe for more, please. Please subscribe to me for more content.